Hey folks, how's everybody doing out there? Hope y'all doing well. I'm going to start out by saying Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers around the world. Now, Mother's Day is celebrated different, different days, different parts of the world. But today is a Sunday. Was it May? Was it 14th? Anyhow, Happy Mother's Day. So now that I got that out of the way, <laughs> folks, how, how's my Mother's Day going? What about the fathers on Mother's Day? Folks, I got yak yak by three of my baby mamas. Um, I would say on Mother's Day, but really it was last night. It was the night before Mother's Day. It was Saturday night, which maybe there's a correlation. Because last night when I got yacked by these ladies, I was like, why, why do baby mamas always want to yak you on a Saturday night? Seems to be a, a trend there. I don't know if it's because they're sitting around drinking, partying, or they're... Or they don't got nowhere to go. I, I don't know. But it just seems like in my experience, a lot of times out of the blue throughout the years, you know, you're having a good Saturday night, sitting there drinking your beer. And all of a sudden, a baby mama is going to call up and spew out some hatred, some drama, uh, blame you for some shit that uh, you have no idea what she's talking about. You know, the transmission or a car goes out, she's going to call up and blame you. I'm like, shit, I ain't seen you in four years. What? <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with buying that car. I don't even know what kind of car you drive. But, but they're going to blame you for the fucking transmission, right? It's all your fault. You stole my youth. What? That's just for example, right? So anyhow, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, but last night I got yacked by three of my baby's mamas for various reasons. No need to name any names or talk about particulars. And, and last night when it happened, all I'm thinking, damn, it's Saturday night. And then I wake up this morning and I'm like, oh, it's Mother's Day. Well, they tend to yak on Mother's Day too. So I guess you have to just uh, assume that a, you're going to get yacked every, every Mother's Day, and B, Saturday nights are a high-risk area. It's a high-risk time period, usually between like 6 p.m. and midnight, <laughs> somewhere around there. So, anyhow, I just figured I'd share a little, little slice of that. And again, it one... One comes up on the radar, yaks me for five minutes, then disappears. Now, that's her typical M.O. That's, a, that's typically the way she operates, just out of the blue. You get about five minutes of, of hatred and yak yakking, and then that's it. She's off the air. Mm. So... One of the yak yaks was actually positive, though. And the positivity award on Mother's Day goes to Fatima because she was yakking me about when I'm coming back to Angelis. You know, she wants me to come back now. You know, come back sooner, change your flight. That's positive, positive complaining, positive grumbling. But she still yacked me. But anyhow, I just thought I'd throw that out there. So two were sort of negative. One was uh, was actually positive, complaining about me, but just wanting me to come back. I'm like, baby, easy. Easy, relax, relax. Good things come to those who wait. Mm. So in general, Mother's Day, it's a big day, right? I mean, think about it. What do we do for mothers on Mother's Day? Well, it's a Sunday, so if you're in, in the church, go and get up, you know, give mom some flowers. Old dad's got these 
seventy dollars worth of roses. Go to church. After church, got to go to a big fine dinner. You know, and then uh, in the afternoon, give her some gifts. Everybody's gonna give her some cards. And then maybe at night, old dad is supposed to take her out to a nice romantic dinner. It's like she gets the whole day and five hundred dollars. The whole day. And an average of five hundred bucks. I'm not saying they don't deserve it, right? You gotta fall you gotta <laughs> you can leave your comments right now or you can listen to the rest of the story. You know what I mean? It's a problem with the internet. People listen to eight seconds and then formulate their own opinion and go off on their tangent. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. Okay? How did you come into this world? How did we all come into this world? Well, our mother carried us around for nine months, you know, experiencing a lot of back pain, um, hours upon hours of pain during labor and delivery, um, recovery time. The list goes on and on. I mean, breastfeeding, changing diapers. Do, do they deserve a special day? Of course they do. Of course they do. But I'm just going to contrast that. What about us fathers? What about old dad? I bet none of y'all could even tell me when Father's Day is. What do you do on Father's Day? Not much of nothing, right? Maybe old dad takes everybody out to eat. How's that benefit him? <laughs> what do we get on Father's Day? How does the day go? You know what you get on Father's Day? Maybe a phone call. Maybe. Or uh, maybe somebody gets you a tie. How much is a tie at Walmart? What, 20 bucks? Here, here, Dad, I bought you a tie. Hey, motherfucker, I work down at the factory. I don't wear ties. <laughs> I try not to go to church. But just think about the fact that for a minute, the, the, the difference in, in how Father's Day goes versus Mother's Day. When fathers are equally as important as the mom, and in my opinion, even more important. So how much do we spend on Father's Day? 20 bucks for a shitty tie over at Walmart. Maybe a card. 25 bucks all in. And if you do go out to eat, Dad's picking up the bill. So 25 bucks. We spend 25 bucks on Father's Day. Uh, it ain't very special. It's not very sacred. Versus Mother's Day. Uh, you got to do things for Mom all day long. I mean, the flowers alone, that's 70 bucks. Gifts, cards, uh, you know, big old fine dinner for the family. And then, then you're probably supposed to do a little something romantic, you know. I say 500 bucks all day versus Father's Day, eh, about 10 minutes and 20 bucks, if that. But you know what people for... They don't understand, they forget, or they're not taking into account. You're not on this earth initially. Now, you got to follow me here. Initially, because of your mother. All right? Now, this can be debated, but what usually happens? Okay, man sees a beautiful lady, and now it's on him to take some action to, uh, to meet this lady, right? Sees a good-looking girl go by. Well, at least we used to. Now everybody just looks on their phone, I guess. But you got to take some action. Then you got to get up the nerve to ask this girl to go out. And then, you know, ten dinners and a thousand bucks later, okay, maybe now the relationship's getting somewhere. But you see how Dad takes all that stress 
and all those risks initially by getting rejected, turned down, embarrassed, ego destroyed. He's taken all the risks from the get-go. There might be a few of you where your mother chased down your father. Okay, uh, some of those situations do exist, but predominantly, at least in my generation growing up, okay, man sees woman, man has to formulate a plan how he's going to meet her and get, those, get her phone number, get them digits, get her beeper number, and start cultivating a relationship. The stress is all on this side of the house, on the man. As it goes on, goes on and on, then what's the dude got to do? If he's, you know, traditional, conservative, you got to save up that money for a big-ass wedding ring. Damn, some of y'all are out 5000 bucks on a ring. And you got to go through the, the pain of getting down on one knee. Going and getting her father's permission. Uh, enduring a wedding with her family and friends and people you, who you don't even know. And oh, by the way, you're paying for most of all this, right? And then a few years later, you end up with some kids and now you got to start celebrating Mother's Day. <laughs> and uh, those dudes are like, man, what? Why does she get a, get a whole day and 500 bucks and roses? And if you don't buy her roses, her damn friends will talk about you to the end of time. Uh, if you forget an anniversary, it's the same shit. So really, y'all get two Mother's Day. You get anniversary and Mother's Day. Where us men, I mean, we, we don't give a shit about anniversaries or Father's Day, to be honest with you. But you see where I'm getting at? There's plenty of organizations representing y'all women out there, right? There'd be plenty of Captain save hoes jump on me over this video. There's plenty. But there's very few people who represent the man, especially the American male. And that's who I'm representing. Because... We're the underdog. That's just the way it is. Nobody represents us. And, you know, Mother's Day, it even applies, okay, you, you get a big nasty divorce from this chick in America, right? She takes your house, you know, two of the cars, She's getting alimony, child support, most of your pension. Uh, maybe you got away with your old Harley and a fucking toolbox or something out of, the, out of the divorce, right? But you still got to celebrate Mother's Day when it comes around. Because she is the mother of your children, even though she's so fucking nasty that she kicked you out of your own house and taken all your money. You know, sleeping with uh, your next door neighbor or your boss, whatever she's doing, right? But you still have to celebrate Mother's Day. And we do, why? Because we're gentlemen. And we do it for the sake of the children. I was going to get into who, who, do, who I think the better parent is, the father or the mother. Ooh, that would open up a serious can of worms. I'll, I'll just keep this brief video, I guess, just to focus on Mother's Day is a special day, as it should be. But why is Father's Day not equally or more important? Y'all explain that to me. Because I say 99.9% .9 of the cases, if your father, the man, didn't take some action first, you wouldn't be here on this earth listening to this video. Maybe 1% of the time your mother took the first action. 
but typically it's the other way around, right? And so, <laughs> I'm just trying to say that us fathers are just as important. There you go. If you want to be equi equitable about it, we're just as important. But it don't seem to, things don't seem to reflect that in the importance of Father's Day versus the importance of Mother's Day. All right, folks, I ain't going to make a long video. Leave your comments, your thoughts down below. Happy Mother's Day to all my baby mamas around the world. I love each and every one of you. Love all my children. They're the most wonderful blessings uh, that have ever been bestowed upon me. And I certainly appreciate you being the mother of my child. And I guess that's the proper grammar because none of y'all have more than one child. We got a rule, one, one baby per mother. That's my policy. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Peace out. See y'all on the next one. <clears throat> what I can do? What can I do? You see the stress I'm under here? <laughs> gonna yak me, gonna yak me to Saturday night before Mother's Day. And, and you know, one more thing. You know what was crazy? It was out of the blue. They all ganged up on me within like six minutes of one another. Out of the blue. It's like they were having a conference. And maybe they got a Facebook chat group. I don't know. Because that was awful coincidental that three, it was like boom, two minutes later, boom. Like what the hell? And then boom, all three within six minutes. They could be on a, some type of chat room together. I don't know. Maybe they form in their own union. I have no idea. But three within six minutes. Grumbling, belly aching, expressing their displeasure with the dog. I miss y'all too. I miss you too, baby. All of you.